Hey, what's up everyone? It's Chase, AKA That Gay Jedi, and welcome to another video, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So I recently had the honor and privilege of speaking with a couple different creatives from the Andor production team. And first and foremost, just wanted to say thank you to them for their time, and thank you to Lucasfilm for this amazing opportunity. Two of the people I got to speak with were Bo Williman and Sana Woldenberg. And for those who don't know, Bo is one of the writers on Andor, and Sana is one of the executive producers on Andor. And while I was preparing for this roundtable and sort of thinking of what kind of questions I wanted to ask, them, I found this great lecture by Bo Williman. And in it, he explains how writing for television has like a very similar feel in terms of creative discovery and process as to working in theater. Because for those who don't know, Bo also has written plays um, that have like ran off Broadway and he's had great success in the theater industry as well. And I've worked in theater my whole life and studied theater my whole life. And so I really kind of wanted to ask about this idea that he brings up in the lecture. Well, I'll just play the clip from the lecture right now. Well, for me, TV is a lot closer to the theater because there's an ongoing dialogue with the actors and the, the department heads. Like, I mean, you, you, it's like you have this crew and this family that you're spending a lot of time with and, and discovering things with as you would in the rehearsal process for a play. Um, and something that you discover in, say, episode two, even though you've planned out the whole season, might influence scripts to come and have this ripple effect. And so there's a, there's a lot more dialogue uh, between the collaborators going back and forth um, than I think you have on a film where most of the time you have the script and then the director takes it and directs it. So like I was saying, I really wanted to sort of ask about this idea of like television being similar to working in theater in terms of like like how a single moment earlier on in a, in a season or a series or a s earlier episode can like affect f scripts that are currently in development and can, how can it affect sort of like, I mean, they're even, you know, they began shooting season two or they are soon. But yeah, I wanted to ask sort of like if there's been any moments in and or that have been informed by like previous discoveries on set or in the writing room. And yeah, um, basically they had very thoughtful responses. So I thought I'd share them right here. I think Sana's better for this one because she's been in the trenches with Tony since before I arrived and, and long after I, <laughs> I finished my last draft on the script. Uh, so you've you've witnessed everything, Sana. I think, I think, you know, certainly for all the, you know, really strong vision and kind of over, you know, and kind of overriding kind of story arc, you know, that Tony brought into the room and that, we, that were then fleshed out with the help of his, you know, trusted collaborators, you know, um, Bo and, and Dan, you know, as and then you know whatever whatever wherever we took it at the writers room of course then the really hard work starts because then everybody took these episodes away and then the, you know made them into you know you know an outline and then of course right really digging deep to writing the script and I think you know things evolve and you really dig deep for you know it, the finding the broader you know of a pass is you know and getting that right is you know was kind of quite you know, dynamically and quickly achieved when you have, you know, three very strong, you know, creative, you know, people in a room, you know, that really know and trust each other. And, you know, the speed that was actually in the and the, the creative feeding of each other was kind of really fast. But then when everybody dug in deeper, of course, you come across other questions and, and new things. And they constantly feed back and forward and, and, and you know, and good ideas. Then, you're, you know, then you feed them back, you know, backwards. And I think that is a, that evolving thing when you strive for perfection and finding a very intricate, you know, multi-layered, you know, piece with a huge, you know, with a lot of players within the way I think that is very much part of the process and and if you pay attention to that and really benefit from what you find and keep on challenging you know the own process you come you know hopefully you know you get to something very you know complex and multi-layered and rewarding at the end and I, I think I got lucky too because uh the Nate, the prison is such a big build, and Sana actually had to make that happen with Luke. Uh, that I believe the prison block was shot last, right, Sana? It was it was shot last because we were quite contained, and it seemed the right way, um, you know, to kind of finish the whole show. But it also really allowed, you know, for Bo writing when you're dealing with something, with anything that you could write, and when you dug deeper into it, and then you were left with actually having to produce the scripts, but you had to create and Luke was our designer and we had to, you know, if it's a constant feeding back, okay, if I get to go to that corner and how does I do this? And how would this work in the prison? And it's a constantly evolving thing and having that time for that very specific world to to kind of evolve and, you know, to be written and for us to be then allowed to, you know, able to create it. It was a good place at the, you know, to shoot it last. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, and, and so I, you know, I'm lucky that it benefited from uh, this incredible cast that now had months working together, Sana and Luke and everyone else uh, that, you know, here, here was, I, I basically got to benefit from this is the the final push here. And in a way, I guess all of those prisoners escaping Narkina 5 at the end, it was also for all of you, like, we're finally wrapping production. <laughs> One way out. <laughs> <laughs> One way out. <laughs> we printed t-shirts for everybody with it on. So amazing answers by amazing artists and Andor is an amazing show. And I've mentioned that on the channel before, but I'm a really, really big fan of the show. I think it's incredible. Um, and it also like as a creative person, it was really, really cool listening to those answers because it really highlights to me how well oiled of a machine that like the, the production and like, you know, the cast and crew of Andor are like, you can tell that all of them are really eager to like listen to each other, work together, remain creatively fluid and sort of like let moments inform other moments and like, you know, just kind of like share the creativity and like share the collaborative process. So yeah, I really love that the answer so much. Uh, and honestly, listening to all of the answers that they gave during the roundtable were really, really inspiring. So if you're interested in listening to the full roundtable, I'll have that link down below as well as the full roundtable to another conversation that I was lucky enough to be a part of with the production and costume designers of Andor as well. So the links for both of those will be in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world and gave the force be with you always.